Hi, in this Model 1 of Lecture 1, we're going to discuss the Airline Planning Framework. This is the framework that defines the process that airlines have to follow to plan, schedule and control their operations. It is also a framework that we're going to use as a reference to our course, so it's good to start with this. We can divide, divide this framework into three levels, the strategic, the tactical and the operational or, if you want, the long-term, the medium-term, or the short-term horizon. In the strategic level, we define the fleet uh, that airline is going to operate, that's the fleet planning, and the network that they will operate in the future, that's the network development. If you combine both, you will end up estimating the frequency that you're going to have in each route, and this is the frequency planning. These problems are solved from several years before operations, four, five, six years uh, for the fleet planning, to one, two years before operations in what concerns the network development. We need to have this defined normally one year before operations, so you can start go to the tactical level. And there in the tactical level, we have three branches. We have on your uh, left hand side, you have the aircraft maintenance branch, in the middle, you have the scheduling branch, and on the right hand side, you have the revenue management branch. Let's start with the middle uh, one. So, at the tactical level, one year before operations, we start defining our timetable. So, to where we're going to fly at what time, and also the fleet assignment. assignment. So, to determine what is the capacity that we're going to have in each one of these um, uh, flights by allocating an aircraft type to these flights. We then, closer to operations, let's say one to two months before operations, we start allocating in more detail the resources to these uh, flights. So we define the crew that is going to operate each flight, that's a crew scaling, and we define which specific aircraft, the tail number of the aircraft, which specific aircraft is going to operate each flight in a way that they make a route um, that makes the aircraft start at their um, hub location and come back to their uh, hub location or maintenance location, if you want. On the right hand side, still in the tactical level, we have pricing and revenue management. <clears throat> pricing is related with the problem of defining the the, the value of the tickets, and there are multiple levels defined, and the revenue management is a process of deciding when to open each one of these classes of, price, uh, of prices. These two problems are not going to be addressed in our course, uh, but we're going to address the other uh, branch, uh, with the one that is on your left hand side, which is the aircraft maintenance. There we do have the seat check planning, and those are heavy checks, which need to be planned uh, uh, one to two years uh, uh, ahead to make sure that we have enough capacity for our operations in the middle branch. And also the A check planning, which is more flexible, so we tend to plan it closer to operations, let's say three to, uh, 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 three to six months before operations. And this covers the tactical level. We do have then the operational level, and that regards the uh, operations, so the control of uh, the operations at the day uh, of, uh, uh, that we are running uh, the, the, the flights. And there we need to plan the line maintenance, uh, and it's there in the short term because there's always uh, new uh, tasks coming up from uh, uh, faults found by pilots or any uh, incident that we have. We have resource management, and that's managing our resources in a way that we try to uh, stick with our initial plan, but to cope with disruptions if they happen. And we need to look into passengers because we sold a ticket, we sold uh, an itinerary, so we need to manage their itineraries to make sure that the passengers will get to their destination as uh, it was planned. This process at the day of operations can also be called disruptions uh, management. These three branches that we start developing at the tactical level, they are not isolated. So the schedule, schedule planning 
is an input for our c check planning. In principle, we try to follow uh, the needs uh, from the, the, the commercial side, so from the schedule side, to plan our c checks So we do have enough capacity to run our operations and we don't ground too many aircraft for their maintenance uh, checks. But it also defines the, the, the capacity that I have to sell and the, the, the times of uh, the flights that influence the revenue management uh, uh, side of my uh, framework. Furthermore, the CSHEC planning, once defined, will potentially have an impact on the aircraft rotations, which also have an impact on the a check and vice versa. So it's always a game between maintenance and operations or commercial side to come up with a schedule that is suitable for both the commercial side, so the, the, the flights, and the maintenance side. And the line maintenance, of course, follows these rotations, for, is done during the turnaround time, so we have to follow the aircraft uh, rotations that is given to us. In this slide, I summarize the planning framework by giving you information about the timelines and the main objectives at each decision level. For the strategic level, we are defining the strategy or following our vision when we define the fleet that we want to have and the type of network that we would like to operate in the future. This happens 10 to 1 year in advance before the day of operations. The goal there is to match the resources which we are planning with the uh, uh, demand. And uh, demand is forecast because it's something that we don't know is associated with a large amount of uncertainty because we are trying to predict what is going to happen in five years from now, in 10 years from now. At the tactical uh, decision level, and these are problems that we solve one year to one month before operations, we are trying to readjust these uh, resources, the supply, to the market situation, to the particular market situation of a given day, month uh, or week in which we are scaling our operations. And there we want to maximize the potential uh, of our resources to generate the revenue. So the goal is to maximize our revenue more than anything else. On the operational decision uh, level, on the other hand, we are worried about the costs, so we want to minimize costs. So let's say that we are four weeks before operations or a couple of days before operations or during the day of operations, we already have a plan. Supposedly, that's a very efficient plan, generates a revenue to us. But there are disruptions, so we want to uh, cope with the, those disruptions, eventually if they happen, by trying to readjust our operations but not increasing too much our costs. There is still uncertainty at this time uh, of our um, planning decision, but much less than what we experienced uh, uh, five years before when we make, made our these strategic decisions. This is what I wanted to say about the planning framework. But before we move to the next model, let me uh, tell you that there are uh, reading materials in on Brightspace uh, that you should read. They refer to the airline's key performance indicators, also some examples on how to compute these key, per key performance indicators, and uh, a discussion on the air service agreements, the ESAs, and the freedoms of the air. You can find these documents on Brightspace, as I said, and they are important uh, because they contain information that can be addressed during the exam and the assignments. I'll see you in the next model.